Hi there, my name is Jay with Server Matter, and the purpose of this video is to show you how I've configured my Proxmox server so that if you've got two network cards, one coming from one router and one from another router, you can create a bridge on both of those network cards and then use VMs on two different networks from that point forward. So you might have two or three VMs on one um, network card and two or three on another network card and you need to know how to do that. So this is the process that I went through. On uh, your, your server's node, the one that holds all your VMs, we click on that, system, and under system you'll see network. Under network, your devices, however many you have, will show up here, ENO1, ENO2, and so on. I did find that ENO1, which I had just plugged in the, car, the uh, cable to recently to carry out this exercise, on active it said no, and inside that interface there was no way to make it active. I tried restarting the network on Proxmox, that did not work either. The command uh, to get it working was IF up and then ENO1 or whatever interface name you have. As soon as I did that and hit enter, and reloaded this page, it was set to active. Now I should set that to auto start, not sure why I didn't. Same thing with the one below it. Okay, now once you've got your interface, you're going to hit create and Linux bridge. And when you hit Linux bridge, this is what's going to come up, an empty page. So the IP that you see here is the IP address of the bridge, which would be provided by this particular router, the physical router. And you'll want to make sure that that's available on that device. Uh, you might even consider putting it outside your DHCP range just to ensure it's never given out to anybody else. Uh, this bridge serves the fun functional equivalent of a virtual switch. Uh, so just consider it a switch. It's plugged in. Um, the switch in this case is getting an IP address, but it's able to provide that same internet connection to all the other devices. Now, in this case, I'm not filling out a gateway IP. The gateway IP, in, in the case of Proxmox, it only gets one of those. You see in this, I've got two, a BR0 and a BR1, and I've already filled in a gateway IP there. It just needs, this is the Proxmox server's, uh, the gateway IP, so it knows how to get its own internet. And you can't have two of those, so you pick one. And I could pick either one, but you can't have both. So you have you have to have very little information to create a new bridge. You have to manually put in, there's no drop down showing you your interfaces. You have to manually put in whatever your interface name is. And if you have any doubts about how to get to that, IP link show will show you all your interfaces and if we come to the top here we can see ENO1 and ENO2 those are the names that you would use there there that just gives us whatever hard lines we have plugged in and that's it so now we're coming over to our actual virtual machines um, I'll take uh, number 102 for instance and if we look under hardware we've got our network device and then we just choose whichever uh, bridge that's going to be in. In my case, the two different internet service providers. And then if we actually look inside that device, that, that VM, and do an IP add, we see we've got an IP address on the dot .11 network of 173, and we're able to reach the outside world. So that's it. That's how you configure multiple bridges on your Proxmox environment so you can uh, group your virtual machines uh, to get their internet on those individual devices. And I've got a static IP coming in through the router. That static IP can now be used to reach websites hosted on this VM. I just need to port forward properly um, in each case. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.